Hello good people and welcome to Finest Skills Hub here. We learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, we want to explore how to create custom maps in Power BI using the native visual shape maps. It's very important for those who analyze and visualize data that has geographical points. In an earlier video, I showed you how to do the same thing using Synoptic Panel, a custom visual from OKVis. This video is to give you another option to be able to do the same thing using the native shape map visual in Power BI. So if you're again, join me in Power BI and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to be using this Power BI report. It's an analysis of Ghana's previous election in 2020. So it shows the vote cast for each region and then it splits it between the two leading parties, right? So if you select a particular region, it shows you how much the MPP got and then the NDC got. It also splits it along percentages, right? If you select any region or the entire nation, you also see a breakdown of the vote cast by all the parties, okay, to the left, right? So the advantage with using custom maps is that you get to select the actual area and then your measures are filtered along the line. Right, so this was created with Synoptic Panel, okay, this, but we want to show you how to create using shape maps. Now, to be able to use shape maps, we first have to activate it, right? So you come to File, okay, then Options and Settings, okay, then you come to Options, right? At the time of recording this video, the shape map feature is still under Preview Features, right? So under the Options, you choose global and then you come to preview features and here you have to activate the shape map visual right you click ok and then it should activate it right so now that you have this in place let's explore how the shape map works now for the shape map to work okay so this is a sample that i have done here you need the shape map of the particular area that you want to plot okay so you can use that to drive the native visual, right? Because initially, when you insert the shape map, what you get is the shape map of the US. Okay, so if I bring in any region, so I'll come to my region and then feed in the region, I get this. Okay, so this gives me the US visual, but I'm looking for Ghana, right? So to be able to do that, I need to go and then bring a custom map right so i need to go and bring a custom map now you have to go online and then look for that custom map thankfully i discovered a very resourceful website which i'm going to share with you it's a very easy way to download the maps for all the countries in the world i assume so you can go to simplemaps.com okay so over here they have some free maps that you can access so this is the Simple Maps GIS version, and you see that the surface is GH. So as an example, my brothers and sisters in Nigeria, you can just change the GH to NG, and then that should give you for Nigeria, right? So for my purpose, I'm interested in that of Ghana. So this is Ghana. So what we want here is I'm going to scroll down and then download the shape files, right? Now, you notice the labels are also here. These are the administrative regions. I'll show you how to edit this, right? So let's go and download the shape file. So I'll download the shape file. So I think Chris, the creator of these maps, has done a fantastic job making it available for us to use the shape map version. So I would encourage you to support his work. So you can do that by sharing a tweet to his page. So I'm doing that right now. So I just sent a tweet to support the work of Chris. I think you should do that. And while you are here, you could also follow me on X. So this is the handle at OBOTB, Bernardo Bimboateng. You can follow for visuals on national issues in Ghana and then global issues as well. Right, now let's get back to our work. So this has been downloaded. Okay, now when it downloads, you get a zip file. So if I come to my downloads, you realize that I have a zip file, right? Now we don't really have to extract the files here, but we are going to use all the contents here to extract our unique area, 
which in my case is Gala, right? So I'll come and then use another tool called Map Shaper, right? So I'll put all these links in the video description. So I'll come to mapshaper.org. Now this allows us to modify our shape maps and even edit if we have to. So this is my map shaper. So I have the option to select, okay, or drag. So I'm going to select and then bring in what I just downloaded. Now I notice that if you bring in the shape map, it actually lists not just your country, but other countries, okay? So you would have to scroll down and then look for the abbreviation that represents your country. Okay, so it took me a while to figure this out. So for Ghana, Ghana is GH. I know this is Ghana because it has been represented by 16 polygon features, which actually is the 16 regions. So I'll click on this and then you notice I have my full Ghana map with the 16 administrative regions, right? What I like about Map Shaper is that you can actually use the inspect feature icon here. So if I click on this, right, I can see the labels or the attributes for each selected region, right? So this is the upper west, this is the upper east. Now, while I was doing this, I realized that this attribute was actually labeled northern, northern east, right? But this should be northeast, right? So you can edit, so I can click to edit, Okay, then just highlight this. Okay, and then correct this to northeast. Right. So the point here is that if you notice that the attributes do not match your data set, you can use the map shaper to make the corrections. Okay, so that they can link up and then filter your measures. Right. So we are done with the changes here. Now, all I need to do is to export. Right, so I'll come to export. Right, so over here, the file format that Power BI supports is the topo.json file type. So I'm going to choose this. And again, you would have to filter it to the country of choice. Okay, so this is going to be GH. Okay, so I'll select GH and then export this. Okay, so I get confirmation that this is now present. Now I'll go to my Power BI. Okay, so back to our original display. I now have my shape map here. So in the map settings, I'll go to map type, drop this down and then choose custom map. Okay, so in a custom map, I get the option to browse for my custom map and I'm going to choose what I just brought in. Okay, so with this, I know that everything here is present because all the areas are colored green which is my default color, okay? Now, if you look at our original work, we want to basically be able to see which regions voted for the MPP and which regions voted for the NDC, right? So you can use custom measure or formula to actually color these areas. And that's what we are going to do. So I'll come select the visual and then come to the format, okay? I have the option to change my fill color using an FX, which is a measure, right? So for starters, I need to create that measure, right? It's a simple measure. So I'll come to my data set. I already have some measures here. So I'm going to add this to that. So my measure is simply going to be, let me name this map color. It's this. So I'm going to say that if I have measures for MPP's votes and NDC's votes. So I'm saying that if MPP right, is greater than the NDC in the selected region, then apply the color. So I already have the colors here. So this is the hex code for this, right? Otherwise, we'll apply the NDC color, which is this one. Okay. So this is the measure that I'm going to use. So this is map color. So now that it comes in, all I need to do is go back to my visual. Okay, back to the fill colors and then go to my FX. Now the formatting style is going to be based on the field value, which I just created the measure. 
So I'll come to my measures and choose my map color, right? So this is going to be my map color. So once I do that, you see the areas that the MPP won and then the areas that the NDC won, right? So let's add some white border lines to separate the regions. So I'll come and I'll change this. Okay, so this is a bit cleaner. So we have something like this. Now, you realize that because you are working with a data model, it's a complete work, right? What you've done here, okay, will still respond to your measures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, okay, and then replace our original OK bus. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one. So I'm basically going to replace what we did over here so that you appreciate how it interacts with your original work, right? So this is the map that we just created. Now, I like this because it's a bit cleaner. Right. So here, if I select the Ashanti region, you realize that it breaks down your data model. Right? If I select Greater Accra, it breaks down. So if I don't select anything, it means I've selected the entire country, which gives me the data votes broken down by the parties and also broken down by the leading parties. So if you're not able to get enough from the synoptic panel, then I would encourage you to explore this path right? using simple maps and then loading it to your shape maps. That should give you a similar output. So please practice and add it to your Power BI work and reports. Thank you so much for joining us and see you in the next video. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.